but a whole lot of workers want it, I can tell you, by the calls that we get. I got a question about nurses. Mm -hmm. It says, in fact, I saw it again today in the text, that nurses are considered supervisors and can't be organized, but yet just here recently there was a strike in Minneapolis by the nurses, and I'm trying to reconcile those two. two I mean, I, I don't know for sure how that works, but that, that was a big issue about the definition of supervisor and a lot of folks in labor felt like it was unfair because you could just, their definition of what a supervisor is was like, no way is this nurse really a supervisor. It doesn't have supervisory powers, but it was a way to rule folks out of a bargaining unit, basically. You know, I know there are certainly the California nurses and, and other states, there's large unions representing nurses, so there's some way that they've been able to organize. Is the state union the largest union in North Carolina? It would be the largest one local union that we would have. That's school teachers and stuff like that? Well, the school teachers belong to the North Carolina Association of Educators. Um, in some places, they would bill themselves as a union. They don't necessarily consider themselves a union they're here in North Carolina, but they're certainly a employee association. When you're talking about with the um, the nurses talking about that the, on the national level they're doing a lot more than <coughs> in North Carolina or that um, they're not investing a lot in North Carolina obviously because it has to be a really big cause for them to believe that anything can be done because of the way North Carolina is. Um, has the union looked into taking a different approach with North Carolina now that so many laws um, on the state and federal level have been passed despite um, North Carolinians' wishes? Because there's been several laws passed by the state and by federal government that have affected the citizens of North Carolina that we really haven't agreed with, and there's been a lot of protests to, but we have no word in it. Has the union thought about taking that kind of stance going, okay, you know, this is a way for you to keep these people from changing your way of life. We can help you do that. Have they tried coming into North Carolina now that North Carolina has been so greatly affected by so many new laws and trying to... Uh, to gain public support that way. And there are some unions, I think, that are, are looking at North Carolina. I mean, certainly the Service Employees International saw an opportunity to work with the State Employees Association and, and organize them. The argument you made about, that's, that's how I'm trying to get people engaged for this election, is trying to get folks, if you disagree with what's going on, then you need to be engaged politically. And certainly unions are doing everything they can to educate folks about issues and, and channel that frustration in a positive way. 